Hello, I'm uh, Andy Tattersall and this is a video as part of the Mastering Mendeley series and um, this video is just a brief overview to show you what the Mendeley desktop looks like in Windows. Um, we have here along the top uh, a collection of menus, we've got file menus like so which allows us to add files and add entries manually. We can sign out of our account here if we have to use a shared computer and we have an option here to synchronize our library. Um, we've got options again to create folders and new groups from the edit uh, function uh, and rename folders as well as find uh, things within our Mendeley collection. We can go here and change the view from uh, a table to uh, the collection of citations. So if I do that it changes that to that, but you will more likely keep it as a library uh, table. We can change our citation style. So um, in SHA you would be expected to cite uh, Harvard reference style. So we can change how that appears. And as well we can change the actual tool uh, bar layout. And we can also show uh, if there's document details and also include Mendeley Suggest. We have tools on the toolbar which allows us to install the web importer which another video will cover and also uh, the word plugin and we can also check for duplicates um, which is a lot better than it used to be um, with duplicates it will always depend on how good the data is that you've put into your collection it will always depend on uh, whether you've typed in the same paper twice but in two very different ways and it's not picked up but uh, usually it should do and then in here you've got your options if I click on that it will bring up your general details it will show you what kind of web space you're using it will show you uh, what uh, cr uh, criteria you're putting in to see particular uh, document types so if I go and select journal I can go and change and turn on and off these particular criteria that I want to include I've also got a file organizer that shows you where my files are being kept I can include watched folders and as well as uh, there's bib text options, Zotero options, and there's also my connection, uh, which most people wouldn't need to go into. Um, we have these buttons. We have a help button here. There's help guides you can access. You can also go and request uh, features or bugs. You can go to the Mendeley website from here. You can also select um, the support function as well. You can create a backup of your collection. Uh, and you can also reset Mendeley desktop if you so wish. There's also these buttons here to allow you to add folders and files. You can also hit the sync function. That will bring in any new items that you've added via the web. And it will also put any desktop items you've added up onto the web as well. Here we have an uh, option to conduct a literature search within Mendeley. And we've also got the Mendeley suggest function. <coughs> which... Um, which as you add items into Mendeley will suggest more and more. We can filter our library by all documents. I can look at recently added. I can also look at recently read ones. I can favorite some if I so wish, I have non favorited. And then I've got all my folders here. And if I click on a folder, it will bring up the papers in that particular folder. I can go and search my collection um, by using uh, various things. I can search for author keywords. I can filter by authors. If I do that, it brings up authors names here. And I can also do it by my tags. So if I type in, if I select uh, big data, it will bring up anything that I've tagged as big data. I can also filter by the actual publication. So I can go down and um, select a particular journal. Uh, so if I go for ASLIB proceedings, it will bring up anything that I've got saved from that publication. On the left hand side of the panel uh, well the sense that just to show you that the center panel if I just remove this filter um, just to kind of escape that if I were to I just go to all if I go to the center of my panel here I can see all these publications and if there are any that have got PDFs I can open up the PDF and actually see the uh, paper within once that happens, this right-hand panel also opens up and in here is all the bibliographic data that you can put in and amend and change. Fairly self-explanatory. I've got my tags, I've got my abstract, I've got my year, volume, etc. all here on the right-hand side. So if I now find a paper within um, my 
collection that has got all the full, full bibliographic details in there. If I select one like this one, uh, you can see on the right hand side, um, I've got my year volume, I've got my authors, etc. And I can go in and amend any of this, complete any of this information um, if it isn't in there already. Um, it's quite important that you complete all this information on the right hand side because that saves you work further on. But this is really uh, the Mendeley desktop shown in, in the course of a few minutes. You've got a pretty much an overview of what it looks like uh, and how fairly intuitive most of it is.